It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's all up next. GA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it will be the L.A. Chargers and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback so the charger offense making its way out and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago at 25 years of age out of oregon it's justin herbert the chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of herbert who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons over 4,700 yards last year. He's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Now their versatile running back. Here's Austin Eckler. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Once more, here's Eckler. And Eckler is going to pick up a Chargers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Eckler has long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season with 13 touchdowns on the ground. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, Eckler. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here is third and five. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett, 59 yards. And the Chargers are on the board first on the road here in L.A. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench, that's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game.
Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense. And they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford, the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the fourth-year man, it's Cam Akers. Now able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. A nice carry by Akers, and what a journey it was for him last season. Coming off of injury, away from the team for a while, he did come back later in the season and led them with almost 800 yards. Still scratching the surface of what he can do. He can be a dynamic presence on the field. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field, but his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Throwing is Stafford. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Sebastian Joseph Day in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. That's 
On first and 10, Herbert. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 15 yards is the pick up there on the drive starting very nicely. First down. There it is, a staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a back, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, that is tough on inside linebackers. One false step, and that ball's completed. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first down, Justin Herbert. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. Touchdown! Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here's Stafford now on second down. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Stafford now to throw. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. 
Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Ethan Evans now. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. You better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Back to the air, Herbert on second down. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Second and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 38-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And this is caught by Williams. And they move this all the way down to the nine. He got 29 yards that time. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Out of the gun, Herbert. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Herbert. And he comes back with one complete. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. 
Here's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And out across midfield, down to the 45. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Stafford. Throw right side, gonna be caught by Higby. And he's gonna get this down near the 30-yard line. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Brett Maher on for the field goal. A 47-yard attempt. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive. 
but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Well, another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A big play there for L.A. 43 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a give, Akers running left. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Going right back to Akers. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the 21, here's the second and five. To throw is Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there pushes this to fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Akers. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Holding offense. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Maher able to put this one through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better.
after the main field goal. Marr back out there to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? The end result, 21 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. Herbert on first down now. That's taken in by Palmer. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That one good for 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. This is a counter play, Eckler. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chargers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. That is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 26. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Running on first down, Eckler. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, 27 yards. And the Chargers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21.
Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go, baby. Let's have some fun. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, C.D., but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. A shotgun snap for Stafford. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Stafford. And he fires one, but incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Eckler now between the tackles. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. That is caught. It's Williams. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards there, a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle, no running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that'll increase their lead to 28.
Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Now Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Stafford on first down. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. And they've done a great job of doing that. Here's Stafford now on second down. Looking for Cooper Cup again. Two in a row. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as a tackle made at the 42. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Throwing again at Stafford. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Every other season of Bosa's seven-year career had injuries cost him time. Stayed true to that last year, only five games played. Good news, he has rebounded with double-digit sacks and a Pro Bowl season each year following those injuries. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Throwing is Stafford. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. Touchdown, L.A. Van Jefferson, 53 yards. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But... This one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. 
Well, CD, this is the ideal situation in the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful. They've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. They started on the ground with Eckler. And some room to maneuver. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 40 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that.